Hidden away in Nikon's secret labs, something big is brewing. A new camera is being built, a full-frame mirrorless camera equipped with a global shutter sensor, designed to be fast, precise, and powerful. The world of high-speed mirrorless cameras is about to get a serious shakeup, and Nikon might just be holding the trump card. For years, Canon's R3 and Sony's A9 Mark III have reigned supreme as the go-to choices for sports and action photographers. These cameras are engineering marvels, packed with cutting-edge features like lightning-fast autofocus, incredible burst rates, and advanced sensor technology. But whispers from within Nikon's development labs suggest that the company is quietly preparing a challenger, a camera rumored to take on these giants head-on. This new contender, unofficially dubbed the Nikon ZX, could redefine the standards of performance in the mirrorless space. While Nikon has yet to confirm anything officially, trusted insiders have hinted at something truly groundbreaking, a full-frame mirrorless camera equipped with a global shutter sensor. If true, this would be a game-changer. Unlike traditional rolling shutters, which can distort fast-moving subjects due to their sequential readout, a global shutter captures every pixel simultaneously. The result would be no more warping or skewing, even when shooting at blistering speeds. Imagine freezing a race car mid-drift or capturing an athlete in motion with absolute clarity and zero distortion. That's the kind of precision the ZX might bring to the table. Now let's talk competition. Canon's R3 has set a high bar with its advanced eye-tracking autofocus, 30 frames per second continuous shooting, and a 24 megapixel stack sensor. Meanwhile, Sony's A9 Mark III continues to dominate with its own global shutter capabilities, achieving up to 120 frames per second in certain modes while maintaining exceptional image quality. Both cameras are juggernauts in the sports photography arena, but Nikon isn't one to sit idle. What sets the ZX apart, beyond its potential global shutter, is Nikon's unique approach to innovation. The company has always had a reputation for crafting cameras that balance power with usability, and it seems they're channeling that philosophy into their next flagship. Sources suggest that Nikon isn't just trying to match Sony and Canon, they're aiming to outdo them. Think faster processing, smarter autofocus algorithms, and perhaps even a fresh take on ergonomics and usability for professional shooters. Of course, all of this remains speculative for now. Nikon has stayed tight-lipped about the project, and there's no guarantee the camera will launch under the ZX moniker, or even with all the rumored features. But if the leaks hold water, the Nikon ZX could very well emerge as the ultimate tool for action and sports photography. It's not just about competing with Canon and Sony, it's about rewriting the rules of what's possible in high-speed imaging. Let's dive into what could make the rumored Nikon ZX a groundbreaking addition to the world of professional photography and videography. At the heart of this camera lies its most talked about feature, the global shutter. For those unfamiliar with the term, traditional electronic shutters and mirrorless cameras often suffer from rolling shutter distortion, a phenomenon where fast-moving objects appear bent or skewed due to the sensor reading data line by line. This has long been a frustration for photographers capturing high-speed action. There comes the global shutter, a technological leap that captures the entire frame simultaneously, eliminating distortion entirely. This results in crisp, clean images even when the action is at its most chaotic. If Nikon can perfect this technology, it would place them in an enviable position, potentially outpacing competitors like Sony's A9 Mark III and Canon's R3. Speaking of competition, both Sony and Canon have set incredibly high standards in recent years. Sony's A9 series redefined speed and performance, while Canon's R3 introduced innovations like eye control autofocus, which allows photographers to select focus points simply by looking through the viewfinder. These cameras are undeniably impressive, but Nikon seems poised to challenge their dominance. With the ZX, rumors suggest they're not just matching these giants, they're aiming to surpass them. Imagine a camera that combines the speed of Sony's A9 Mark III with the precision of Canon's autofocus system, all while eradicating rolling shutter issues. That's the kind of game-changing innovation Nikon might be cooking up. Autofocus is another area where the ZX could shine. Nikon has steadily refined its autofocus systems over the years, and if the whispers hold true, the ZX will take things to the next level. We're talking about advanced subject tracking, lightning-fast detection, and perhaps even an autofocus system that rivals Canon's acclaimed eye control technology. But the ZX isn't just for stills. Video capabilities are expected to be equally impressive. 
Over the past few years, Nikon has quietly elevated its video game, and the ZX might mark their boldest statement yet. Rumors point to 4K footage at 120 frames per second. Thanks to the global shutter, videographers could enjoy distortion-free recording without the dreaded jello effect that plagues fast pans or quick movements. Delivering 6K at 120 FPS would place Nikon squarely in the realm of hybrid shooters, those who demand excellence in both photography and videography. For creators who wear multiple hats, the ZX could become an indispensable tool. Battery life is another factor where Nikon traditionally excels, and the ZX is unlikely to disappoint. Professional photographers often work long hours under grueling conditions, and swapping batteries mid-shoot is far from ideal. If Nikon maintains its reputation for robust battery performance, the ZX will likely offer extended shooting sessions without compromise, a crucial advantage over competitors whose power efficiency sometimes falls short. Durability is yet another hallmark of Nikon's design philosophy, and the ZX is expected to uphold this legacy. Built to withstand extreme environments, Nikon cameras are renowned for their ruggedness. Whether you're braving sub-zero temperatures, battling desert heat, or enduring torrential rain, Nikon's weather-sealed bodies are engineered to perform reliably. If the ZX follows suit, and there's every reason to believe it will, when it comes to pricing, the Nikon ZX is shaping up to be a premium offering, and understandably so. If you're familiar with cameras like the Canon R3 which comes around $4,500 or the Sony A9 Mark III at $6,000, you already know that cutting-edge performance doesn't come cheap. With all the advanced features rumored for the ZX, global shutter technology, blazing fast autofocus, and robust build quality, it's safe to assume we're looking at a price range between $5,500 and $6,500. For professional photographers who demand nothing but the best, this investment makes sense. After all, you're paying for top-tier innovation, distortion-free high-speed shooting, precision autofocus, and a durable body designed to handle the rigors of real-world use. While there's no official release date yet, insiders suggest the camera could begin testing among select professional photographers in early 2026. That means we're likely looking at a late 2026 or early 2027 launch. Until then, anticipation continues to build. One thing is certain, when the Nikon ZX finally arrives, it won't just enter the ring, it'll aim to own it. What are your thoughts on the Nikon ZX? Do you think it can live up to the hype? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into the latest camera tech and reviews.